What's up, everybody? That one, Andrew here, and welcome back to Corpse Party. We're gonna dance with some corpses right now. I have no idea what I was doing last time. As always, that should be the trend or the um, slogan of this channel. I have no idea what I was doing. Um, this table looks interesting. Yeah, I think we went to the bathroom last time, and maybe we need to go to the infirmary now. Did we get the infirmary key? Not sure. I'm, uh, doing things a little different. Hopefully, it's not terrible. We'll see. Hopefully, nothing's too loud, or nothing's not loud enough. But I'm not recording my audio separately from the game audio. Because last time I got desynced, and that was really, very annoying. So we're just going to try this out and see what... Oh, God, I stepped in it. I stepped in it. Ew. You did? Here. I've got some tissues. Maybe you can wipe it off. These are definitely somebody's guts. And when I stepped on, whatever part of their body I stepped on, it made a squishy sound. Like I just plopped my shoe onto a juicy pile of dog poo. Hmm. Descriptive. Oh, God. That's way too much information. You're going to make me puke. So sorry. I was recommended by someone to do to do voices, so um, that was my Naomi and Seiko voice. I hope you like it. The fate that awaits you from here on out is a cruel one indeed. If you should get stuck and lose hope, the answer may lie in your past. Relive it and search through areas you've not yet seen. You may simply be missing the one thing you desperately need to continue onward. Reality will often throw such twists at you. Oh! Damn. Infirmary. Infirmary key. The door is not unlocked. The door is now gone. What a lovely place. What a lovely sound. This reminds me of my old infirmary. Where I had an infirmary. I don't know. Did it save? Yes. Okay. Whatever. We're stuck in a loop. What is this? There's an anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Looking closely, it seems as if someone painted over each of the organs with actual blood. How cute. Wash your hands with soap. Wash your hands with soap. Wash your hands with soap. There's a pair of scissors on the shelves. Both his blades covered liberally in blood. Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up on each of the shelves. It's a space heater. A heater of space. A box of matches on the ground. Why not? It's <laughs> a fucking audio glitch there. That was, that was the scariest thing. The scariest thing yet. Uh, there's a sink. No, it doesn't. I didn't realize just how thirsty I am. Um, go to bed, I guess? Huh, somehow, I expected the beds to be a lot dustier. They're surprisingly clean. That's good, though. Now you can finally rest your weary bones, Naomi. Yeah, I think we're going to lay down for a bit. All tucked away in the corner like that. I've always preferred nooks and corners. They just make me feel... Hmm. Safe. I guess. <laughs> I know just what you mean. I'm the exact same way. I wonder if there's anything in here we could use to soothe that ankle of yours. Sit tight, Naomi. I'm going to take a look. Okay. Thanks a bunch. Don't thank me yet. I haven't done anything. Story of Seiko's fucking life. <laughs> oh, she's looking in the same spot over and over. Ah, this will do. Yoshi. I got me a makefish splint and some bandages. That'll sprains a gone and I'll hold still. Oh man, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> All right. They're active tight. How's it feel? Hmm. <laughs> Feels great, Seiko. Arigato. <laughs> You're very welcome. I've sprained my ankle pretty bad before, too, so I know just how you feel. I wish I had some ice cream or something to put on it, though. <laughs> she, she didn't say ice cream, but that would help, too. Same thing. No worries. You've done more. <laughs> I can't fucking do this. Huh? You're asleep now. That's fair enough, I guess. Glad you agree. <laughs> it's slumberland for me. Sleeping people don't talk, you doorbell. You really are an oddball, you know that. Oh boy. So, hey, the Alvi. <laughs> hmm? If we find Mochita, have you thought about what you want to do with him? Huh? Well, you know what they say. When two people are faced with mm, difficult situations, shall we say, it often leads to love, sweet love. You should roll up all your courage and confess your feelings to him. You get all girly with him in this creepy place and your cuteness factor will grow three sizes in his eyes, I bet ya. I swear. With you around, I almost feel like we're just shooting the shit back at school like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Thank you for your advice. I'll think about it. <laughs> I hope we find him soon. Uh. You kind of don't, though, do you? You're thinking about how you wish you didn't have to be put through all of this. You want to see him, but you wish you could rest easy knowing he's safe and sound back home, rather than wandering around here. Am I right? Must be those maternal instincts of yours kicking in, huh? You're a deep one, to be sure. She may sound like an idiot, but she's right on all counts. Guess there's no fooling Seiko. I've been pretty curt with her since we got here. I'll have to make sure I apologize later. <laughs> and what was that exactly? <laughs> Sorry. It's just that when I see that ass of yours, I start to drool. You are so weird. That was Yuka again. I heard it too. I'll go take a look. You stay here and rest, okay? I'll be back in a jiffy. Uh, I don't. I don't think that's such a good idea. I should go too. I insist. Don't worry. I'll be fine. Just keep that ass parked on that bed. You got it? Well, b but... Look, your ankle's all dressed and feeling better, right? Don't make it all for nothing. All right. I guess I'll stay here. Dude, she, she, she zoomed out of that room. She went... Meow. Hmm. My ankle really does feel a lot better. Seiko has a definite knack for caretaking. Knack? Is this Knack 3? <sighs> Miss Yui and the others. Satoshi. I wonder what they're all doing right now. Rumble, rumble, rumble. What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself and get off me. That's my chest. Uh, sorry, sorry. I couldn't see where I was grabbing. 
You're lucky. You're so cute. <laughs> Oof. I just want to see him. But why? Why did this have to happen? So here we are walking around. Look at this chair. It's a cool chair. Oh, I can't walk right here. Nah. What's this book? There's an old journal on the desk. At least, it appears to be a journal. In reality, it's more like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the page can't be turned. Well, there you have it. I guess we leave. Why is the door locked? On closer inspection, there's no visible bolt keeping the door closed, nor any evidence that it's been locked at all. Did anyone else see the screen get darker? W what? But if it's not locked, then why won't it open? It won't budge. It's as if it's been completely fastened to the wall through invisible bonds. Invisible bonds? What's an invisible... B What's an invisible bond? It won't budge. Invisible bonds. Invisible bonds. Oh, eh. I don't fuck with children. Mm -mm. No, sir. Are those children? Uh-uh. Let me out. 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 Okay. Well, uh, go back to bed, I guess. Who? <laughs> what? I don't like this. I want to get out. Maybe it's one of the things that if you keep trying, it'll just let you out. Please. Okay. Uh, go back to bed. Beds are safe. Can't go to bed. That's fine. What do we do? What do we do? The candle's not lit anymore. This is not good. Uh, my head hurts so bad. I can't stop this ringing in my ears. Was this was this open before? Vast quantities of medicine and tonics are lined up, uh, along with a single bottle of rubbing alcohol. What did they need all of these for? Mm-mm. I don't like that. Please stop. Nope. A happy child is a cursed child. Mm, that's what we say. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. What the fuck? The door is... I don't know that word. With countless strands of black hair ruining it in place. Oh, that's that hair looks so HD. It makes me uncomfortable. Stop it. Stop it. Is, is, is someone there? Uh, it sounds like something's writing. It sounds like a ballpoint pen scribbling away on a sheet of paper. Oh, is it the journal that's not a journal? Stop it! Stop laughing! Scratch, 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 scratch. Haphazardly scrawled shorthand begins appearing in the journal on the desk as if being written by unseen hands. The letters are so misshapen and inconsistent, however, that they're completely illegible. Uh, this doesn't make me happy. What? What was that? What is happening? Uh, what is that thing? It's a phantom! I need to get away! Ah, ah, ah. Uh, what, the, what, the, what, the, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh, 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 fuck it. Let's go, let's go. Stop breaking everything. It's no use. Where did this hair come from? God help me. Try using a match to burn the hair? Why not? The flame wasn't strong enough to do any significant damage. <laughs> well, it'd be like that. Um, well, the good thing we know where the rubbing alcohol is. Take the bottle of rubbing alcohol? Absolutely. This is why you always explore children. Um... Go this way. No, go this way. There you go. 
Oh god, okay. I know puzzles. Douse it? Of course! Why not? Take a swig while you're at it, too. Whoa! With a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul-smelling heat, the hair lift up, then hardened and fell away, freezing the door and allowing it... Freeing the door. It didn't freeze. It was frozen before. Get out of here! Alright. New rule. Infirmary? Off limits. We don't go there. I actually, like... a lot of water. Actually, maybe a little stressed. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep a promise you can't keep. Don't keep a promise you can't keep. What? In an utter panic, I began to run as f I began to run as fast as my feet would carry me. I was so out of sorts, I didn't even know where I was running. I kept calling out Seiko's name, over and over. Seiko. My dear Seiko. Strangely, I have no memory of where I went during this time. I just ran as if in a daze, unaware and unconcerned with my surroundings. When I regained my senses, I found myself standing in the third floor hallway. Seiko! Seiko, where are you? Come on, Seiko! Don't leave me by myself in here! <laughs> Seiko? Is that you? Okay. The stall door is locked from the inside. Someone's definitely in there. Gasp. Oh, damn. Seiko, no! Why? Why? We're supposed to hang out together, not by yourself. No. No! Yay! Oh! Me! Seiko! You're alive! Hold on, I'll get you down! Uh, there's a bucket! Grab the bucket! Uh, there's a clump of me crawling with maggots! I might be able to use this as a footstool! Take the bucket! Uh, this is so revolting, but if it saves Seiko... A significant number of maggots have found their way onto Naomi's hands and skirt. You got the filthy bucket. Ah, I must save Seiko. I must save Seiko. Seiko, look, I found a bucket. I'm right here. Seiko, the bucket. It landed upright. The, the parentheses, filthy bucket in parentheses, fell from Naomi's hands. She doesn't look good. With blank eyes, Seiko swung back and forth slowly in her noose. All life had been completely drained from her face. Screenshot. Uh, uh, uh. No! 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 <laughs> Damn it, Seiko. We're so close. Why? Why would you hang yourself? You were smiling and laughing all this time. Didn't you say 
We'd find a way out of here together. Stop this. Don't leave me all by myself. Say something. There you go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Children spirits? I I can't move. I can't even speak. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm really, really, really scared. Oh, what did I, what did this, somehow another psycho found, or Naomi found herself with a large pair of sewing scissors in her hands. Her mouth was agape, and she was luring the open scissors into it as if intending to swallow them whole. I can feel the scissor blades clinging against my molars, and I can hear it too. Ah, ew. What am I doing? Why would I try to swallow a pair of scissors? My hand's moving on its own. Stop. No, stop! Ah! Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got our first wrong end. What did we do wrong? I don't fucking know. So I was gonna say. Oh lordy. I was gonna say that that wasn't the turn of events or something. We we missed a part there. Um, but I guess it's because I missed something. Um. So now I guess I need to go explore and figure out what exactly I missed. Um, yeah, so. Let's start looking around the school. Go back to the murder room. Murder room. And let's get out of the murder room. Uh, I have no idea what I missed. There's a bucket. Yellow fluid. What the heck is this, P? Ew. Don't say that. Uh, it's a gap. Let our parting be but temporary. I send thee flowers, my beautiful flower, and thou... And thou... Wait, it's eternal for my return. Beautiful flowers, I can't see. Blah, 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 blah. The victim memoir. What? Maybe you have to read all the memoirs? I'm not sure. This game is a little cryptic sometimes. Uh, do not read the victim memoirs to the end. But I think we do. I think that's lying to us. Oh, lordy! the hell is that? There's a fucking hole in the ground. I don't know. Um, is there anything up here? I've seen things up here before. Hey, ghosty. If you should die here, you'll experience the pain you felt the moment of death for all eternity. Heaven is completely cut off. No paradise, no nirvana, just eternal pain. Ah, why did I have to die like that? I kind of say it better myself. Oh, he gave us something. An unknown key. Huh. So, we'll feel the pain of death forever? Best not to think about that. Hmm. That must be what I missed last time. Oh, but where does it go? Victim in Mars, 205. Alas. The only flowers that bloom in hell are white as freshly fallen snow. So on a lark, thy heart, pure as a heart can be, I wish to stab with pins and scatter the petals. Let the white flowers be dyed red by thee. Okay, well, that's a little aggressive, but okay. 
I like your poetry, so, you know, it is what it is. What is this key for? I don't know. Is it this? The door's locked. Oof. Hmm? I don't mean what's wrong! I don't know. It's like my heart skipped a beat as soon as the key was turned. I have a really bad feeling about this room. Oh, trust me. It'll be fine. I mean, it's just a locked door. You know what that means, right? Booty! Behind every locked door lies a hidden treasure just waiting to be claimed. Can't you hear it calling to you? Uh, don't enter yet. Because I don't trust myself. We're going to go back to Spooky McDookie room. And we're going to do a fat save. Uh, I was using my playtime clock as my counter but now that's all out of whack since I got our wrong end so let's we'll just go with it um, what's going on in here brother why the music stop brother who is this brother <laughs> another dead body a message has been painstakingly scratched into the floor with fingernails Whatever you do, don't look at the newspaper. I really think we should just leave this room. Something's not right in here. Okay, but I don't know. I'm really curious about that newspaper now. Can we just take one little peek? It was at that moment Andrew knew. He was going to read the newspaper. But not right away. Oh, there's a candle. But it's not lit. Sad. Heavenly Post. Breaking news. Serial kidnapping ends in murder? What? The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town, and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. The cops were paid handsomely for this detective work. Now, investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youth were discovered within the Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 18th, 1973, around 7, 7, 7 30, it's you know, give or take. Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Hmm. Each of the corpses appeared to have its tongue severed and removed ick mutilations far too gross to describe. The page is torn at this point and the bottom half of the article is nowhere to be found. How awful. I think I heard about this though once before. Not me, but I guess it did happen long before we were born, so I shouldn't be too surprised. Slam. That's always a good sound. How's my candle? Still not lit. Perfect. Um, it seems as if the door's closed. It's a decoration now, like everything else. Well, hmm, interesting. What do we do now? Outside the window, so dimly lit, as it's almost imperceptible. These words are too fucking long. Looms a sheer wall of dense foliage stretching as far as I can see. There's not even a hint of what may lie beyond it. Well, I guess we... Good old just... Come on. Come on. Come on. Just, just keep doing it. We got it. Just try again. Try again. One more time. Damn. Um. I, I guess read the newspaper again? Oh. Heavenly Post. You will never leave this room. That is a thumbnail. I've ever seen one. Okay, well, that's good. You will never leave this room. Excuse me? Boom. Open. 
Open. Open. Hmm. 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 Emily Post, you're not really okay. Well, interesting. Maybe we should not have read the newspaper. It's uh, still not lit. Um, I guess check the body. Crying. Okay. Okay, I want to leave now. Please. Please. All right. All righty then. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? There's no way out, Seiko. This is all your fault, Seiko. Oh, what do we do? What indeed? What do you mean? Just never mind. Stupid rat. It's not lit. Uh, let's check this. Uh, still not leaving this room. Uh, that's good. Uh, check her. Yeah, she's still crying. It... What? Do I even test fate and check things in here, or do I just leave? When the Lord gives you a blessing. Scared the crap out of me. <sighs> Hold up. Oh no, no, it's gone. What is? The paper doll scrap I got from Yomi. Oh, the charm. I stole my pseudo ID holder. Stupid. Crap! I put mine in my pocket. It must have fallen out somewhere. That's why I kept telling you you need to put things away before they get lost. Now I'm sad. I think that's what we needed to do. Because I do recall now, it has to do with the paper scrap being lost. So I'm going to redo the events that I just did. And I will cut to when Seiko was hanging out again. I will be right back. Right back. All right, this is already different. Ew! It's threw a Kool-Aid all over the wall. Who's gonna fucking clean that up? God bless America. Naomi! Naomi, what happened? Are you okay? Seiko. Sorry for the mess. What are you talking about? Don't apologize for barfing, you poor girl! <laughs> Everything's okay. You'll be better than it's out of your system. This voice really hurts. You need me to rub your back? I think I'll be fine. Thanks, so. though. Did you find Yuka? <sighs> Looks like we're really the only two people here. The only two leaving people, anyway. This place is just way too quiet. How about you, Naomi? Is your leg any better? Are you okay to be up and about? While I was resting, I was suddenly... Oh, w w excuse me. While I was resting, I was suddenly attacked by this creepy black apparition thing. What? Oh my god! Are you alright? I think so. We should consider that room off limits from here on out, though. I'm just glad you're okay. <laughs> I guess we better keep moving then. Can you stand? I can't do it. It hurts. It hurts too bad. Yeah. I can do that one. But where are we supposed to go? Well... We've already been pretty much everywhere we can go in this godforsaken school. And the only other people we've come across are all dead. Damn it. There I go again. It's hopeless. We're finished. And I'm so tired. I'm acting like a child again. Naomi, come on. It's not that bad. We'll figure something out. Class 2 Niners never say die, right? We're invincible. I've got a hairdresser appointment first thing in the morning tomorrow, and I tend to keep it. And then, in the afternoon, let's say you and I get our bikes fixed. Sounds like a plan, right, Naomi? If we make it back alive, sure. This is Seiko. What am I doing? I just can't seem to hold back. 
Hey, me? Are you, like, super duper tired or something? This is so not like you. <laughs> Come on, raise that chin. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. What the hell's got you so chipper? <laughs> you just keep smiling and laughing. D -d 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 Do I? Tell me, how long is that going to last if it turns out we can never go home again? Have you given that any thought at all? We'll figure something out. That's a crock and you know it. I must have finally cracked under the pressure. This whole situation, just more than my soul could bear. I thought we'd be keeping. I thought I'd be keeping Seiko spirits up till the bitter end, but just like that, I was berating her, abusing her. All I had running through my head was pain and sadness. I was like a baby throwing a hissy fit. I was crying out irrationally. I couldn't stop. Venomous words were flowing through my mouth as, as if someone had turned on a spigot. All I could do was moan, complain, and be little. I really was behaving like a little bitch. Oh, like a spoiled little brat. I'm sure our families are going to be really worried about us. They're going to search and search, but they'll never find us. It'll be a terrible burden for them. You're wrong. How so? I'm bad at being a burden. When you lose a loved one, you cherish this person's memory. It's never a burden. You just want to do whatever you can, whatever you can, to make her proud. You just want to... So you do. What is wrong with me? Seiko's mom disappeared several years ago. I know that, so why am I putting her through all this grief? That's how I think people we leave behind are going to feel. I don't know how it is for you and your family. But normal people don't work that way. Naomi. Sorry. How about we split up? We can cover more ground that way. Maybe find a clue to help us get out of here. Seems the most efficient plan of attack, don't you think? Who? Who says things like that? I have to apologize. I want to get home just as much as ever you do. Back to my dad, and you, and everybody else. And I sure as hell don't want to make them worry about me. This is all my fault. I have to apologize. But most of all, I don't want you of all people to speak to me like that. Just leave me alone. You're a jerk. And you don't care about anyone's feelings, but you're wrong. I sure don't care about yours. Baka Seiko. Damn. I would heard her loud and clear, though. She was trying her hardest to keep her spirits up. Trying her hardest to make me feel better. But the way I was at that moment, Seiko was just a little too bright for me. So bright... That it hurt. And so, in this nexus of closed spaces, where humans are scattered and imprisoned and killed, two friends who should have been thankful just for the small favor of being trapped together in this unforgiving place, were quickly and easily divided. My petty obstinacy towards Seiko would come to be the biggest regret of my life and the consequences of the heated exchange were far more dire than I could have ever imagined. Oh, we're playing as Seiko now. Look at us. I am Seiko. With some badass music playing. Uh, we already read this. We already read this. Dang, this is that remix stuff. Let's go. I'm not doing the voice anymore for her. I think I just heard someone calling out. <laughs> Follow the voice?
No. Because we are already at 42 minutes. So we're gonna... Oh my god. The screen sh Not another earthquake! God bless! Fucking hell. Is it over? Are you... Oh yeah, I'm alone. Damn. Do I dare go in the infirmary to save? Nope. We're not allowed back in there. That's right. Oh, shit. The floor collapsed. Is this because of the earthquake? I can't take this, Naomi. I guess we must go on. Because there's no way to save. Oh, wait. We really might not make it back home again, huh? This isn't a nightmare. It's actually happening. I guess before anything happens to either one of us, I should tell her how I feel. <gasps> we can temporarily save. Perfect. Thank you for watching this. Bye.